Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Just a quick update for you. And this time it's some Mr. News. A new core has dropped, the Game Boy Advance. Now from what I understand, this is still kind of in beta, so there's gonna be some bugs. And I definitely did come across a few bugs while testing out the core. But for a beta, that's very forgivable. As well as this is a very nice start to a Game Boy Advance core. I'm quite impressed. Now I've noticed some people saying you'll experience different glitches depending on which BIOS you're using. Like for instance, right here. And the game froze for just a second, but then it started to go again. So it's little bugs like this that'll need to be fixed. As far as which BIOS to choose is concerned, some people suggest the regular one and some people suggest the open source. Personally, I'm going with one that's marked as original right now. I'm particularly enjoying using this LCD filter, which is a filter I've used in the past for Game Boy games on the Mister. One of the more interesting features here is the ability to fast forward. So now if you have some unskippable cutscenes, you can get through them fairly quickly just by holding down a button. Personally, I like cutscenes, but since you're just starting a new game on Mister, there's gonna be a few openers that you've already seen a million times that you'd probably prefer to skip past. Now, I could be wrong about this, but it's my understanding that you'll need the 64 or 128 MB RAM to run any game that's over 32 megabytes. And I believe that's for any core. So if you've already picked one of these up because of the Neo Geo, you should be okay. Now, some people might be asking, can you load a Game Boy or Game Boy Color game up into this Game Boy Advance core? Well, because of the way the file extensions work, I couldn't get any of those to load. However, there are what's known as Goomba Color Carts which are essentially just Game Boy and Game Boy Color ROMs set up to be loaded into your flash cards to play on your Game Boy Advance. And hey, they seem to work here, although maybe slightly glitched. All in all, Robert did an amazing job here designing this core. And again, it's still in beta. It can only improve from here. And this comes to us months away from Analog's offering of the Game Boy Advance in FPGA. So while there is some emulation out there where you can play Game Boy Advance on your television, this definitely has the potential to be the best way to do it. So what do you think of this Mr. Core? Are you gonna grab it now or are you gonna wait until it's perfected? Would you like to know more about the Mr. Project? There's a ton of resources already out here on YouTube, but I was thinking about giving my take on the Mr. if you're at all interested in hearing about it. Talking about setup, discussing the cores that are available, taking a look at the hardware you'll need, and covering Mr. News from time to time. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time, game on.